We're going to graph this line 3x minus 2y equals 12 on this grid here. And in order to graph a line, we need at least two points. Um, more is better, but two is the minimum. So let's see if we can find some points. Um, I'm going to set up a table where we have some x's and some y's. And I'm going to choose some x's. I always start with 0, 1, and negative 1 because they're easy to work with. And um, they may give me enough to, to plot my line. Um, so I'm going to start by plugging in a 0 for x for this first one. So 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 12. 3 times 0 is 0. So I end up with negative 2y equals 12. If we divide both sides by negative 2, I get y equals negative 6. Okay, that's a good one. So my very first point is 0 comma negative 6. Let's go ahead and plot that. So over here on my grid, I'm going to go 0 in the x, and I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the y, and plot 0 comma negative 6. Okay, so we've got one point. Let's see if we can get another one. So let's try 1. So I'm going to plug in a 1 for x and calculate what is y. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2y equals 12. If I subtract 3 from both sides, I'm going to end up with negative 2y equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 2, and I end up with y equals negative 9 halves. This is not a great point, right, because it's not a whole number. I could, I could plot it. Um, but it's going to be difficult to get an accurate graph. So we want to look for whole numbers, um, particularly when you're working with Newton. Whole numbers are going to be much easier to work with. There may be some problems where you um, need to use a half number, and in that case, they will provide you with um, the half marks on the grid. But in this case, I only have marks. So I'm going to see if I can try a different number. So um, let's see. Let me switch colors here so we can see what we're doing. How about, um, how about a 6? Let's try 6. So let's plug in a 6 for x. So 3 times 6 minus 2y equals 12. 18 minus 2y equals 12. Let's subtract 18 from both sides. I get negative 2y equals negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 2. I get y equals a positive 3. So that looks like another good point, 6 comma 3. So I'm going to come over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the x and 1, 2, 3 in the y. Plot that point right there, 6 comma 3. So I've got uh, two good points, the red one and the blue one. I'm not really going to use this one. Even though it is a point on the line, it's going to be a little bit difficult to plot. So I'm not going to worry about that one. Let's see if I can find a third one just to kind of check my work. I'll change my color here. Um, let's do, let's try a negative number. How about negative two? I didn't have very good luck with one, so I'm going to skip negative one. Let's try negative two. So, um, let's see, let's come over here. Three times negative two minus two y equals 12. Three times negative two is negative six equals 12. If I subtract, or sorry, I'm going to add six to both sides, right? Negative two y equals 18. Divide both sides by negative 2, I get y equals negative 9. Okay, another good point. Negative 2, negative 9. So let's go ahead and plot that. So uh, negative 2 in the x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 9 in the y. And this is looking good. This is giving me confidence. This is negative 2, negative 9. That if I connect these points, I will end up with a straight line my straight line drawing skills are not great, but pretend like that's a perfectly straight line. And I have confidence because these points all line up along a straight line. If I only did two points, well, that is enough to get me a line if I just connect the dots. That third point is sort of my error checking device. If I ended up with a point clear up here or something, I would know that I've done something wrong and I would need to go back and check my calculations. But since they all ended up in a nice line, I'm pretty confident that those points are correct, and this is the graph of 3x minus 2y equals 12.